The Miami Dolphins are all in on Tua Tungavailoa, at least for 2022. Miami new head coach, their new offensive coordinators, and their new quarterback coach are all in on Tua Tungavailoa. Is it because they believe in him or was that the directive from Chris Greer and Stephen Ross early in the hiring process? The coaching staff are saying all the right things when it comes to Tua but do they know something we don't know? Is there something more to his game that Brian Flores and his two-headed Medusa at offensive coordinators couldn't bring out in him? Did Charlie Fry do more harm than good? To say nothing of the psychological issues from the entire Deshaun Watson fiasco. After two seasons of football, fans are still debating one single thing as it relates to Tua. Is he the future of this franchise and can they win with him at quarterback? That isn't the question that should be asked. It should be is he the right quarterback for this year? The answer to that is like it was last year. We have to wait and see. 2022 as Tua fresh start. A new staff, new support, a new belief in him. No excuses for failure, so what if he does? Is Miami making their mistake now? What if the coaches praise of Tua as lip service because Tua is part of the deal? If the coaching staff see Tua as a project and not an absolute, then they are making a mistake sticking with him. That is on the shoulders of Chris Greer and Stephen Ross more than Mike McDaniel. This year there is an unprecedented amount of top quarterbacks that could be on the move. While an Aaron Rodgers would change the offensive dynamic in an instant, he is 39 years old, carries an ego bigger than the state of Texas, will be paid an incredible amount of money, and may retire after any given season. Aaron Rodgers is a short-term solution at best. In Seattle, there is a growing belief that Russell Wilson is going to demand a trade. Wilson has struggled the last couple of years but it doesn't appear to be his fault as the team has changed around him. He is a proven quarterback and could improve the Dolphins' offense. He is a leader and well-respected. He too will be expensive but of all the quarterback on the market or potentially on the market, Wilson might have made a lot of sense for Miami, especially given the fact Mike McDaniel has seen him twice a year firsthand. Kyler Murray seems to want out of Arizona but Bill Bidwell has spoken with him recently and believes that he is the right quarterback to lead the team and that he will get better. He doesn't fit into the Dolphins scheme 100% but if the Dolphins are set to build a running game Murray could excel in a system that doesn't rely 100% on him. Personally, I think Murray is overrated and would stay away as from him. Baker Mayfield is not reportedly on the trade block but an offer could be made and if the Browns like it, they could move on. In Detroit, Jared Goff is also in a similar position where he is likely gone after this season as well. Kirk Cousins, Carson Wentz, and of course the entire Deshaun Watson situation is still playing out. So is a commitment to Tua the right move this year or not? To be honest, I think it is. Tua has potential and we haven't seen it all yet. This isn't to say that we have the right staff in place to make him better but we have a staff that will work with him and build around him. Looking at the cluster of quarterback that could be available this year might make you think about replacing him but in reality, those same quarterback are likely going to be back in the news again next year before the opening of the league new year. In reality, most of those quarterback will stay with the team they are with today, for at least another season. Tua may work out with Mike McDaniel or he may fail. If he fails, the Dolphins will have a high draft pick in 2023 and the quarterback class is expected to be pretty good in 2023. If Tua can't do it this year, the Dolphins will be in position to draft his replacement. So yes, giving Tua another year makes a lot of sense and isn't a mistake. Yet. One of many impending Miami Dolphins free agents is running back Malcolm Brown. An injury forced him out in 2021 should he get one more year? For the Miami Dolphins, running back is going to play an important role in the revamping of the team. Miami has several needs across the offense but in this new offensive system that Mike McDaniel is implementing, running back is a premium. McDaniel sees the Dolphins as a big running team and he will need backs to do that. The Dolphins have decisions to make on Duke Johnson, Salvan Ahmed, and Philip Lindsay in addition to Brown. While Brown missed most of last season, Lindsay and Johnson, both mid-season signings, did well in their roles. Brown has seven years in the NFL in seven games last year managed only 33 carries for 125 yards and a touchdown. Hardly enough for Chris Greer to know what he has in him. Previously with the Rams, Brown rushed for 1,313 yards over his six seasons with the Rams. While Brown has played well at times, he is more a change of pace back and someone who the Dolphins really don't need to have. In addition to other available runners on the free agent market, the Dolphins would be better off trying to get one or both of the Johnson and Lindsay under another short-term deal and then see how they work out. Miami is going to need an explosive running back and we can't be certain that starter Miles Gaskin really has a place guaranteed on the roster right now. For me, 
The thought of Brown is intriguing but at this point, it makes no sense to re-sign him and the Dolphins should look in other directions long before they turn back to Brown.